I'm Lacey Wild. I'm 45 years old, and it's taken me a quarter of a million dollars to build the most extreme plastic body in the world. $250,000 on one person? I'm not obsessed with just one part of my body. I'm obsessed with the entire look. I've had 29, maybe 30 surgeries. Wow, now I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. I do a lot of operations and I cannot think of a single patient of mine who's had 15 cosmetic surgeries, much less 30. So I have 12 breast augmentations, two tummy tucks, three Brazilian butt lifts, illegal silicone in my lips, three full body lipos, and an internal corset. Dang, that is a lot of surgery. The first thing I think about is how many breast implant surgeries she's had. I mean, over 10? I see some patients of mine who've had, let's say, three or four, and I think that is a ton. But to have as many as she has had, what did they do with these operations? And on top of that, three Brazilian butt lifts? That is a ton. Let's learn a little bit more about just exactly how it came about that she's had all of this work done. So this means that each breast has over three liters of fluid, three liters. Now that's 3,000 plus cc's. Now in plastic surgery, we make breast implants up to 800 cc's. That's the largest size that we make. Essentially, you would be taking four of the biggest implants and putting them in each breast. That is outrageous. And can you imagine how heavy that would be? Nearly a 12 pack of beer in each breast and you have to carry that around with you every second of every day for the rest of your life? I wanna give everyone an idea of where I started and where I ended. They started out very modest. The first bra, I was a double A, uh, 32 double A, and this one's triple L. Now what scares me here a bit is that she started out as a double A cup, and that meant that she does not have a whole lot of her own native breast tissue, essentially almost none. So you take that tissue and you stretch it out to these impossible amounts, and my concern is that the tissue, as you stretch it out, it's gonna get thinner and thinner and thinner. And if it already started out fairly thick, that may not be quite as risky, but if she starts out literally as just a little bit of breast tissue and otherwise skin, that's gonna get thinner and thinner, and at some point, that could technically tear. Yes, she could actually get a tear in her breast and her implant can protrude out of it. I started out as a little, tiny, stringy, slim, brown-headed, flat-chested little girl to a big-breasted, big-lipped, cartoon character, Lacey Wild. So it looks like this is kind of almost like a business decision for herself, and I do see this in some patients. Although this is not my thing, I don't put implants in that are this large. Typically, the average size implant that I place in my patients is about 300 to 400 cc's and I've never put in an implant bigger than the 800, which is the max. And even that, honestly, I don't remember the last time I put an 800 or even 700 cc implant into somebody. My mom is famous because of her boobs. I just like them because they can pay the rent and stuff. Is there anything else you like about them? No. Because it's just disgusting. Oh, what a cutie pie. The first Brazilian butt lift I had, I think it gave me a little bit more shape. Then I said, you know, let me get another one. I'm gonna talk 10 grand every time I have my booty done. So I went one more time. So I have a $30,000 butt. <laughs> During a Brazilian butt lift, you liposuction fat from one part of the body and then inject it into the buttocks. About half of the fat that you inject will stay. And my guess is that they probably injected anywhere from 500 cc's to 1,000 cc's of fat each time into her butt. If you would estimate that, let's say she went to the limit of about a thousand cc's into each butt cheek, and she's had that surgery done three times, and about half of that fat stays, then you're talking about a liter and a half of fat in each butt cheek, maybe more when you look at the photos of her afterwards. She mentioned earlier that she's had two tummy tucks, which is very unusual. Usually we do one tummy tuck and during the operation we remove the excess skin from the lower tummy and then we tie the muscles together to help tighten those muscles up on the inside. This is called an internal corset, so it sounds like this is what she's had done by the other doctor. I don't know if that doctor's tried to make more of it than it really is. Let's hear more. 
Would you like to look five or 10 years younger, but you don't wanna go under the knife or needle? Well, what if I told you that you could use your body's own natural regenerative abilities to turn back the clock in a major way? It's a process called autojuvenation, and it's the culmination of 20 years of me being a holistic plastic surgeon. I reveal this groundbreaking approach in my new book, Younger for Life. In this step-by-step -step guide, I show you how, through simple changes in diet, activity, and skincare, you can reap huge changes in your skin and look younger than ever before. Best practices for sleep, exercise, luxurious thick hair, beautiful teeth, and mindset. And a simple three-week program to jumpstart your auto-juvenation process to look and feel amazing. Why wait to turn back the clock? Please order Younger for Life at autojuvenation.com. The link is in the caption below. Doctor took pig skin and he sewed together my muscles on the sides from the top to the bottom so that my stomach is brought in like this. It's anchored to the muscles right here and it feels like guitar strings. So is that real pigskin that a surgeon put into her abdomen? The answer is yes. It's called stratus, and this is something that we use in plastic surgery occasionally. This is essentially pigskin that has been irradiated to remove its cells, and it acts like an internal scaffolding to help repair hernias and other types of internal defects. Now, typically, your body will actually grow into the stratus, and so it will incorporate itself into your body kind of like scar tissue. In general, this is not something that typically is necessary during a tummy tuck operation, unless she's got some other types of hernia related issues that this may be able to help with. And no, I wouldn't just put this in somebody's abdomen for a cosmetic benefit because it's really, really expensive and it does come with its own potential risk of complications. If you have a flashlight, I can show you something that it will drop jaws across the world. Are you ready? So what do you think of that? I got my own jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> what is going on here? Well, I mentioned earlier that her breast tissue is probably really thin because she was a double A starting out. This is called transillumination, and it's because her tissues are so thin that you can actually stick a flashlight like that and you can see those veins running underneath the skin. That is once again another sign that going bigger with her implants can be potentially dangerous because when that skin gets so thin, it can get tissue paper thin, you get a cut, you get an injury, that implant can either pop or it can pop out of that hole that you may make in the breast. No thanks. But there's a lot of things I can do if I'm not laying at a 30 degree angle. I do feel like I'm being suffocated. This is why I can't sleep in my stomach because I'm, my breasts are so huge. I do a lot of breast implant surgery and I do tell my patients that they usually have to wait a good three months after breast augmentation before they feel comfortable lying on their tummy. But they also don't have 3,000 cc implants either. That sounds like a horrible, horrible plan. Her breasts can barely take what she has. To double their size, I mean, it's almost a guarantee that that would be an actual surgical disaster. Doctors don't want me to do it. Uh, doctors tell me, you know, you've got to worry about your ribs caving in. You got to worry about your skin not being able to handle it. If it's just because, oh, there's a possibility you could die, I'm still going to do the surgery. There's a possibility you could die and you're Still gonna do the operation. She seems like a really nice person, but I really feel like she needs a psychiatrist, not a plastic surgeon. Well, if you think Lacey is outrageous, you gotta check out Foxy Menagerie. I think her breasts are actually bigger than Lacey's and she DIYs them. Take a peek at this video right up here. Your jaw is gonna drop. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and auto-juvenate before you operate.